Hey, so it's Don with the model, what, so it's something. Hey, it's Don with the uh, Nearly Historical Railroad Channel. So with model railroading and other modeling projects I'm sure too, people do kit bashing where they take parts from this kit and parts from that kit and they kind of mix them together and make their own thing. And that's cool, I like doing that. But today, you're gonna follow me on my little journey of, um, I'm calling it kit smashing, I guess, I don't know. I'm taking a kit that was already put together. I'm going to take it apart separate different pieces out of it, rearrange it into a way that I want it to be, and put it back together, well, the way I want it to be. So let's uh, go check in with Don, uh, myself, out in the train room and get on with this. Hey, it's Don, the uh, Nearly Historical Railroad Channel. So we do model railroading stuff in HO scale, in HO in three, we just kind of take you along, show you what we've done uh, or haven't got done. So uh, anyways, uh, doing something a little different. I, uh, we've got this kind of little junkyard area I've been working on over the months. Um, and uh, I started modifying this building quite a while ago. And uh, finally brought it back out here. It's like, you know, I should just bring it out here and just kind of play with it and uh, see what we can do. But this is like gonna be the little office building, I think, unless we decide we don't like it. But uh, so uh, I've done other work on it, so I'm gonna show you some video real quick of how I got it to this point. Uh, all right, so uh, I'm just gonna watch this little uh, movie with you guys, uh, this little clip or set of clips. Um, oh, oh, I think I actually probably have to narrate this also so you know what's going on. Uh, so here we, we've, we've got this building that we uh, got from, I don't know, garage sale or something, who knows, but it was already put together like this. It's been sitting around the room for a long time. Uh, so I decided I could use it, but it needs to be modified. So not kit bashing, but kit smashing maybe. Uh, so I didn't want it in an L shape. I just wanted one of the single kind of sections that's there. So I had to cut one section off of the building. So I uh, carefully did that with sharp objects and screwdrivers, it looks like. Uh, so this uh, originally was a kit and, it, and there's like different wall sections and well, this little step. So I wanted to reuse the steps, but it's not where I wanted it. So I took that out. So there's different little wall sections, uh, doors, windows, different types of doors. Uh, so it kind of between the two pieces that I had now, it had everything I wanted, I felt like. So I needed to uh, take out some of the sections though and move them, move them around. To, uh, different areas of the building so um, yeah so I, I kind of figured out what I wanted and I uh, just started cutting those different sections out so you know we got this little door section and and that that there's a kind of like a bigger uh, cargo door cargo door freight door there we go a freight door kind of thing and I wanted to, to use those and this is here is this is like the front door section and I, I wanted that in a different side of the building so i was gonna have a new front of the building and the step was obviously needing to go with that so i was just kind of figuring out exactly what i wanted wasn't sure what side i wanted the cargo door on so i kind of decided that doesn't really matter that much i guess um but so luckily i, I took pictures of the area in question of where we were gonna put this building so i uh, made sure i had those handy and kind of looked at that and uh originally it was in the l shape so i um used that well, as a reference to figure out what would fit and maybe where I wanted those doors at. So, uh, so here again, I'm just cutting off uh, another another section of uh, you know a wall section because I, I wanted this on the side. So I uh, took that out. Yeah, there I'm putting them together. It's like, hey, I think these are gonna work good together like that. So. Yeah, so then, you know, since I'm pulling it apart, there's a lot of glue on it. I had to do a lot of cleanup, uh, just little files in the uh, the old X-Acto blade. I, I used to kind of clean those up. Uh, so these walls have like little tabs that go into like grooves. Uh, so I just have to clean all that stuff out. Uh, so I didn't uh, show you a lot of that video because it's not real exciting, but whatever, patience, you know. It can be relaxing if you let it be. So yeah, just kind of figuring out Exactly, well not figuring out, but making sure they fit in there good. Use the exacto knife. There's a lot of junk on the side, so again, just kind of cleaning stuff up without causing serious injury. 
more file action going, it looks like. Um, oh, it's like half the thing's torn apart now, but, but no, this is good. We're um, getting it into the, uh, whatever, into the manner that we want it to look. <laughs> so I'm just gonna watch for a minute here. This is stunning. Oh, so on the front of the front wall there, up at the roof, there's a, there's kind of a big gap up there. And that's from it getting kind of broke when I took it off, I think. So I think at that point, I decided I'm just going to put an awning on this thing. So that way it's just uh, hidden. It will hide. The, oh, here I am, you know, trying to get the glue going again. You know, I cut out like 10 minutes of video trying to, you know, pull that thing out of there. So <laughs> we all been there, right? Um, yeah, so this is kind of a, a gap filling glue uh, because it's what I had around and I thought it might be actually pretty good. Uh, you'll see a little bit later that I kind of used it to try and fill some of the holes and and things. So um, so here I'm, I'm gluing the walls in and my fingers together with it probably. So I don't have any cool like little hobby clamp thingies. Um, so I <laughs> went out to the garage, found the smallest clamps I have out there. and use those um it worked so i let that dry for quite a while I'll just skip some video there but um it dried for quite a while and here i'm putting some of that gap filling glue in some of those bigger well gaps uh, and then i let that dry for quite a while maybe even like a day and then i came back and kind of filed it down um some of the some of the parts of this kit kind of had little divots probably just from the manufacturing of it so i kind of tried to fill those i didn't know if it was going to work or not i think for the most part it it worked ish uh oh so there's a step again we need to get the step on there uh where we want it I remember originally i was on this oh, so here's some of the clear plastic stuff i have had this for years and years it's got some overspray paint on it use it for the top windows though and i just took a black marker here and, and kind of went around the edges of the glass because it's kind of white-ish and it just kind of dulled it down. It worked. Maybe it's a flat paint might have been better, but you know, it, it's what was around and handy, right? So, so here, I think we pretty much have it. Um, just more cleanup, filing, filling holes. And, and then I, I spray painted it with, uh, you know, just some, uh, you know, primer, gray primer went from there. Okay, so that's that. And uh, so now I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna try to paint this more and get it a little bit further along. I haven't done this kind of stuff in a while actually. But let me show you, um, let me show you on the layout where it's uh, intended to go if we go through with this. All right. Here is our town of Cimarron. And uh, recently I pulled this fence off of something and it got kind of badly damaged and I like it so anyways we just been throwing bits and pieces of stuff in here it's not a real big area for a junkyard and it's they gotta kind of share it with the uh, farm co-op grain silo place here and that's fine they got a deal worked out for that and uh, I just stuck this little shed thingy here when I was messing with fences and I actually kind of like that um, but I do intend to put that other building here. So I'm just gonna play around with that and uh, see what we come up with. So I uh, picked up some sandpaper, uh, possibly to use for the roof as roof material. I wanted something a little finer, but they didn't have it that was black. If I don't use it on this building, you can certainly use it on other buildings. Uh, so, I just had painted this like with a primer. So it's all one color. I'm gonna try and get some mortar into the bricks there. And uh, one of the issues here too, um, here's this gap up in here from, you know, cutting it apart and doing what we've done to it so far. So I always figured I was gonna build some kind of awning, little roof that comes out from there. Something like that. So, I'm gonna have to deal with that at some point. These kind of had little divots in here and I tried filling them with glue and sanding them down and then painting it. And you can still kind of see it. 
So, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. So anyways, let's see where we get. On we go. Okay. I'm just kind of experimenting. Um, so I kind of want the whole thing to be a little lighter. So I just, I just stuck some glue, some glue. I just stuck some paint on there and I took dry part of a paper towel and I just smeared it across there. The main goal is to get it into the mortar lines. And then, uh, then I just kind of wipe off, hopefully just kind of the top layer of the bricks. And I got the paper towel a little bit damp. Try to pull that off some. Maybe I'll come back over it some, but yeah, may have to go over it a few times, but that actually is working pretty good. It's with it, it's without it, yeah. And maybe we'll go over it some more, but it's a good start. I like it. Nice. I want it to be kind of, I want it to be kind of dirty and grungy. You know, in the old junkyard. They didn't exactly uh, maintain stuff to the highest of standards. Not really needed. I started on this back side because you won't see that side. So, you know, test a small area first. Let's see if you're gonna even like that kind of behavior. It's getting a little thick, but I think I'm gonna get it worked in there. Take the damp side. Oh yeah, wipe that off. Like I said I, I got it damp. I don't want it real wet because I don't want the water to wash into the mortar lines too much, right? I was never really quite sure what color to make the the bricks. I just I don't know. I just didn't know. And, Still not sure if that if the gray was a good start or not. I didn't want it red. I don't know. Red was obvious, but I felt like these were kind of bigger bricks and maybe they were more kind of cinder block-ish. Maybe more gray. So that's why I just spray painted it with the brick gray primer. Alright. So gonna do the front. I'm going for it. Fresh, wet stuff here. I'm just, I'm making it up as I go, okay? So, let's see what happens. Kind of lightens the gray up too. Alright, about done painting this part. The darker gray. Wasn't sure about the window trim being brown, kind of wood-ish. This part being gray, wasn't sure at first, but uh, I think I like it. I think I like it. So, definitely gives it some more depth. Makes it pop out more. I like this. Yeah. Do the step, I think. I think. Yeah. We can always change it. Let's try it out. I uh, kind of ran some paint on the bottom. And really, really wet. Actually, almost just water. Sprinkled some dirt on it and kind of smudged it on there. Came back over a little bit more, a little bit more paint. Dirty it up some. So uh, we're gonna go from here. Same thing. Put some dirt on the steps, like real dirt, <laughs> and then just smudged it in there and took it back off. So I think. Uh, Oh, I want to build a little awning for the front, so we'll start looking at that. Okay, so uh, the building is not here because I just kind of cleaned things up halfway, not completely. Um, so I'm kind of done with it for the moment. I um, I, uh, you know, started getting into the paint and stuff, and so I you can't hit record on the camera. I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna show you every step anyways. Uh, but I like what I've accomplished with it. I've got like a platform for it and a little awning for it. Um, I like the colors, I think. I wasn't sure at first. I got it on the layout very carefully because it's still kind of drying. Uh, we might need to add some more stuff to it here and there. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm happy about it. So I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> let's go over to the layout where it's at. I'll show you. Here we go. All right, here we are. O'Shea's Junkyard West. Big Bill has the original O'Shea's Junkyard back in uh, Brooklyn, back east. He said that I could make an O'Shea's Junkyard West because we're out west. There's a little platform. It's not glued or attached to it. The sign is not attached to the building because I don't know exactly where I want it. And again, I just kind of set the building there. Those posts for the awning are, you know, still drying and whatnot. So I am quite happy with this. Um, I did make this sign, you know, self-standing so I can move it around. That was fun building that platform. I like making things beat up and oily looking and stuff. I, I haven't done this kind of stuff in a long time, actually. So I am quite happy with how this has turned out. There's no acetate in the windows, so I may do that someday. I decided not to put the sandpaper on the roof. Might just leave it as it is. So that's that. There you go. Found some more junk to put in the junkyard. And actually, I found a little crane thing that I may stick on the side of the building by that platform. Uh, so I just kind of stuck this fence here. Um, I like this kind of reddish fence on the left. This other thing we just had laying around. I, I do want to have some kind of fence here, I think, but I don't know if it's going to be that. Maybe we'll do a chain link fence or something. Uh, not sure, but I just kind of laid that up there for the moment. All right. Hey, so uh, I'm really happy with how that turned out. That's pretty cool. I haven't done like custom kit bashing work details, stuff like that in actually years, really, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, so anyways, there it is. Um, that's cool. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. And uh, catch you next time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring, ring the little bell so you get notifications new videos come out and all that type of stuff. So, um, this actually wasn't a, wasn't a uh, normal uh, work night, so it's a little different. Alright, catch you next time. Later.